Hey guys, so today I am making a video about my skincare routine. A lot of people have been asking me uh, how my skin has gotten more clear and it's actually not all about the acne. A lot of it has to do with my acne scars so I'm going to show you how I get rid of those while also treating my acne. Um, so let's get started. This morning, I, it's in my bathroom, but I used Clinique Facial Exfoliating Scrub uh, to wash my face. I'm not going to wash my face in front of you guys because I don't think it's interesting, so I'm not going to do it. Um, but that gets rid of most of the stuff on my face, um, like leftover acne medication from last night, whatever. But it still doesn't get rid of everything all the time. So what I use is um, Lancome like a toner and um, but I like it a lot because it gets all the crap off my face so I put it on a little cotton round and I wipe it all over my face and to make sure I get everything now this is kind of gross but you can see like the brown on that's after washing my face so I made sure that everything came off, make sure it's all off of there, and now I can begin moisturizing. So this is my holy grail. Um, it is also by Clinique. It's um, a dark spot corrector. It's literally, it's called Even Better Clinical Dark Spot Corrector. Um, and I use this twice a day. I use it once at night and once in the morning. Um, and I use two pumps and rub it on the face. Now, the most important thing when you are using a spot corrector, this is so, 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 so important. You've got to use a sunscreen um, with at least 30 SPF. You should use 50, but like, I like being tan. <laughs> So I push it and I do 30 um, and what I use is <clears throat> Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream um, and this is SPF 30 uh, and I just put it on my face after oh yeah and use whatever moisturizing you're gonna use use it after the dark spot corrector um, what I also love about Kiehl's is that it doesn't smell like sunscreen, it kind of smells like lemons, which I love. Because I actually really don't like the smell of sunscreen. Um, so that's what I do in the morning. Now if it were at night, I obviously don't need sunscreen because I'm not going outside. So what I will use at night is this um, Clinique uh, hydrating gel. and. I think they have, they have like moderately oily, oily, and dry skin, or moder moderately dry, I'm not really sure, but anyway, they've got three, and I use the, uh, mo yeah, it's moderately oily, um, moderately oily one, because I am moderately oily, so I'll use this at night, but not during the day, because I don't really need to moisturize twice. Now, I use this I don't need it I know I don't need it it's a repair uplifting eye cream I use it because for two reasons one it just makes me feel better that I'm like doing something for my eyes and two it makes my makeup go on way smoother and it was just like a gift sample and I have a ton of gift samples so I was like I have them why not use them so that's why I use it um, now, the last thing I do for the morning is, this might sound kind of weird, I moisturize my lips, but your lips are skin, so they need to be moisturized, it's just a different kind of skin, so why not moisturize them? I also have pretty big lips, so I like to take care of them, um, so yeah. And I'll, I just use EOS or Carmex or, um, yeah, those are really the only two I use, but I love them both. Oh, or Burt's Bees. That's good too. Now, if 
it were night time, I would also use my new lash for my eyelashes. Just wipe it on. It's a very, very, very small brush. Um, do, 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 do. All done. Really, really easy. My eyelashes look fantastic, if I do say so myself. Um, so I'll use that. And then the other thing that I'll use at night is um, Mario Badescu uh, drying lotion. After I've moisturized and everything, I pick specific spots where my acne is to dry it out so my skin is moisturized and then the places that need to be dried out are being dried out and I seriously think that's what's been getting rid of my acne um, whereas the dark spot corrector has been um, getting rid of my scars and how it does that is uh, it go it the lady was explaining to me I'm no dermatologist but um, what it does is it essentially you put it on your skin and it takes those dark spots and it um, breaks up the melatonin um, and evens it out. It like disperses and um, evens out your skin tone color. So um, that's how that works. Uh, and yeah, that is my routine. I hope y'all got something out of it. Uh, if you have any recommendations, I am open to all of them. This is my first skincare tutorial whatever um so super open to all kinds of criticism and whatever but be nice um just kidding you don't have to be I mean like you can be I'm kind of sensitive but like whatever okay anyway so that's it for today and I hope to be doing a makeup tutorial video um soon just how I do my makeup it's not special I don't contour so like don't look forward to any of that but yeah alrighty have a good day bye